Hello everybody, this is Jeff Harrington from WickedOil.com, local Amsoil dealer in Nashville, Tennessee, well, Madison, Tennessee, which is basically north Nashville. Anyway, I am uh, I have a 1998 Fender Stratocaster made in Mexico with a carbon neck on it. Um, I bought this used in 2017. Um, the neck that came on the guitar is bowed the wrong way. So um, I have a plan to correct that, but in the meantime, and when I say the meantime, <laughs> this neck has been on her for <laughs> damn near two years. So anyway, um, I am planning to put a Callahan um, the block right, uh, right here um, this well sustainer block or whatever you call it anyway originally I was planning to just put on some graph tech uh, saddles because that's what I did to my carbon and it made a very nice difference but then I started learning about the sustainer block and reading about why these really aren't worth a crap. And from looking at it, I can tell it is just pot metal, like they say. Anyway, now this, I, when, after I bought it, I have the original uh, pit guard, the whole assembly. I bought this from uh, Carvin or Kiesel as they're called now and this has the I can't remember the letter but the 60A pickups and these things dude if you have a single coil and you want your Strat to sound kick ass I mean smoking good right there that's the that's your baby right there um, now, the purpose of the video is not this, because the other one sounded okay. This one just sounds a lot better. The thing is, uh, I was doing some, it's, uh, this is uh, the 16th of December, 2019, and I told you I'm fixing to, I'm about to do a change on this block. Uh, I'm thinking about just buying the entire assembly, replacing the whole bridge and everything, because you can get the whole thing with the arm and everything, the entire assembly for 160 bucks. I'm thinking about doing that. But anyway, I've been dressing the frets today. Uh, I've been doing all my guitars this weekend, and uh, bought this several years ago, and i finally just trying it out. Uh, it seems to work okay. But anyway, uh, I was cleaning up the frets and everything, and uh, I decided I, I have a Graph Tech um, nut, and I was going to put it on, and I stuck it stuck it up here, and it was just a hair too short, and I didn't really want to shim it. And I thought, well, this one doesn't use the standard. This carbon neck doesn't use the standard. Uh, nut like a uh, strat does this uses a nut very similar it's not the same but it's very similar to what you'd find on a gibson anyway i uh, a number of years back i bought a three pack of these uh, buffalo bone uh, nut and the bridge piece um, for acoustic guitars and I was, I pulled it out and thought, you know, that looks very similar. And I stuck it up there, and it's the right width and the right string spacing and everything else. So I uh, knocked the old one out, cleaned up the surface, and the set, just set it in there and tightened up the strings. You know, tuned it to pitch. And this thing sounds pretty damn good. Now, this thing has a beautiful, beautiful, chimey, bell-like tone to it. Um, and when I changed this, 
Uh, this was the original carbon nut right here. At least I think it's the original one. Um, it has, it doesn't sound like plastic, which a lot of these companies use. Yeah. That's, I don't know if you can hear that. That's a Graftech saddle right there. And it has that kind of porcelain sound. This one doesn't quite have that sound, but it's it's not too far off. So there's a part of me that thinks I changed that years ago because I had uh, I've had the carbon uh, the carbon that this net came off of I've had since like 2003. So I'm thinking I changed it, but I'm not sure. Um, nowadays I document everything. I've got files on every change I make on my instruments. But anyway. Changing from that to this buffalo bone right here uh, didn't make a big difference, but it made a noticeable difference. Uh, it added to the chimey sound to it. And what I wanted to point out is that this strat came with these little uh, saddles. Typical, we see a lot of these, right? And these actually say fender on them. I don't think you're going to be able to see it in the video right there, but these actually say fender on it. Um, I thought, now I had put Graftech saddles on my carbon, and these came off of the carbon. And these are, I don't know what kind of metal that is, but I don't know. Aesthetically, they look nicer than the ones that, the one, you know, these right here but I put these on and it actually took away from the sound it still has a chimey sound to it but it's not near what it was I mean it's not like it all went away but uh, I can definitely hear the difference so I'm really looking forward to putting the Callaham assembly on here because this, I, I don't know. This guitar right here actually changed my mind about single coils. Now that has a nice chimey sound. On, on this carbon setup to let you do that. It's supposed to mimic a, a um, Telecaster. I don't think it does, but this is my favorite position too, which is the bridge and middle. <laughs> upgraded I'm sure I'm gonna leave the bone nut because I like the tone of it I like the feel of it, it has a it adds a little bit of a ambiance to the sound uh, now when I changed out the saddles I changed the strings because you well you change the strings I was planning to change the strings anyway now I usually use Daddario strings and I'm not sure which ones I use because on my carbon I use the uh, I use these pretty much exclusively so uh, because I really 
I really like the sound of these on my carving. I, I started to put them on, on this too and I thought, well, I don't know. This is what I put on this time. I really like these on my Gibson guitars. I tried one set and I thought, damn, I really, I really like these. So I put them on here and I'm sure that changed a little bit of the tone, but how much, I don't know. Anyway, but I'm planning to do another video pretty soon when I get the Callahan parts. Callaham parts. And um, I will do a video at that time, what, the, however I have it set up, and um, I will probably, just for the sake of doing it, because I'll change the strings when I do that, I will use the same strings, that way that eliminates that difference. The only thing that will change will be the bridge. So, and I expect a pretty horrendous difference in the sound so anyway that's it for now um, I would like to encourage you to visit wickedoil.com if you've ever heard of Amsoil or if you haven't it is the best lubricant in the aftermarket in the consumer market uh, there is nothing better there are things that are close but nothing Nothing touches Amsoil. So check us out, wickedoil.com. Have a good day.